Well, family and friends are mourning the death of a Waco teen who was shot and killed outside an apartment complex last Friday. Yeah, he was a sophomore at University High School in Waco, and his death came as a shock to his basketball coach. Six News reporter Matt Lively spoke with him today. I mean, I think we're all mourning. You know, you don't want to lose a kid like that. You know, but you know, he's just what he brought to school. You know, it's 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 sad to see. Uh, you, you don't want to see a kid go through anything like that. 17 year old Ty Felder died on Friday night after being shot outside the Trinwood apartments in Waco, according to police. Felder was a sophomore at University High School, where he played for the basketball team and was the Trojans starting quarterback. In a post made by the school's athletics Facebook page, they said Ty was a great young man with unlimited potential and an infectious smile. He was loved by all that knew him and will be missed dearly. To Ricardo Felix, he was the player every coach wanted. He was, he was one of those tough kids that wanted to do the things that other kids don't want to do. Die for loose balls, get rebounds, guard the other player. You know, it wasn't just about points for him. You know, it's about what does he need to do for the team to be successful. The death is being investigated by Waco police as a murder, but they were unable to confirm whether or not there are any suspects in the case. The death has been a big blow to the Trojan community, and Felix wants his students and players to know he's there. I'm kind of letting them know that I'm there for them, you know, and there's a lot of us that are here if they need us, you know, not so much telling them what they need to do, you know, just kind of giving them their space and time and letting them grieve, but also letting them know that we're here for anything, you know. We'll continue to follow this case for any updates. For now in Waco, Matt Lively, 6 News. Of course, if you have any information, please contact Waco Police.